All right, hello, hello, Leos, and happy, happy birthday. This is your first bonus birthday message. Uh, if you just are jumping here, um, check the description box. I will link in your other birthday messages, including where I unveiled um, all the different items and um, the little minis. So this is if you were drawn into the divine feather messages. Um, and we have the little tykes, um, little slide and play area, an activity gym. I said that there, and we're gonna first open up Divine Feathers. This is a brand new deck. Um, I, as I was saying, maybe you have, or you're dealing with these other energies, Aries, Libra, Sagittarius. Um, that was kind of the main one, maybe even Cancerian energy. We're dealing with children, there's the slide, <laughs> and this new feather that was found. So, I just, opened it up and we're gonna just also this is an unveiling as well um you guys are the first to see this one all right here we go though divine feather messages of healing inspiration and wisdom wisdom <laughs> okay by allison d nicola and artwork by david schreier schreier i hope i pronounced that right oh the first one underneath there is the white swan the power of divine grace is within you the swan transformation hmm wow very beautiful so far I'm gonna set that there okay oh okay okay is this a hawk feather or an owl feather see this is gonna be really interesting I actually was when I found this feather I was just, I started looking up feathers and trying to tell the difference between some and what birds they come from so if maybe you're really interested in that. And I am gonna share right now something for future energy, probably with Virgo. So um, when we shift into Virgo's energy after your birthday season, Leo's, um, I'll do the same thing for them, right? For their birthday message where I'm unveiling new and I already have something in mind and it is a bird oracle. There's a hummingbird on it, so we'll see. Um, I don't know why I'm bringing that up in this particular one, but here we go. So how many cards are in this, does it say? 44, wow, okay, so we have a couple different synchronicities as well. So number four is gonna be the Time Traveler Oracle with the Juicy Juice, uh, Apple Juice, and that is also a 44 card deck, okay? So maybe 44, you're seeing those signs a lot, the fours, it could be represent your home, your family, Cancerian, Cancerian Energy, Aries, is four, four. Um, I'm seeing Connecticut, 80 page guidebook, 44 different birds. Okay. Finding feathers. Okay, here we go. I love this. I want to read the back of this because this is an unveiling of this, right? So the white zone is there. I have my knife so I can open these up quickly. The back of this says this inspirational deck brings the angelic insights and healing energy associated with finding feathers. Okay, see, I'm so excited about this one. Um, literally, an Aries found this, and uh, it was definitely a sign. And Aries, that's why I pulled an Aries Libra. Um, there could be a little bit of Gemini, as well as Scorpionic, as well as Cancerian energy. Grace is within you, the power of divine grace. Wow. Because I even looked that up, and so these are, you know, <laughs> finding the feathers. Wow, okay. Those who seek. To those who seek divine guidance from mystical realm of birds, double-sided cards present feather art on one side with a watercolor image of a bird, an affirmational message on the reverse. The guidebook shares special stories about 44 different birds and their how they relate their natural symbolism to the colors, seasons, elements, and special energies. Hmm, okay. I think that there was, I think I saw someone who had uh, a divine feather and that um, guide. I'm trying to remember the name of that channel. Huh. All right. Well, I'm, I want to peek at what that one is. A wren. Wren. Huh. Be bold and confident. Use all of your resources to create your dreams. Wren. And I, I got like Ren and Stimpy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Look at that one. That one's cool. Okay, I'm going to give him a shuffle. I see the flicker. 
new rhythms are coming into your life now. You are encouraged to trust and adapt. And that was the same thing with the feather. If you look up crow or raven or even magpie, I don't think this one a magpie. It's not quite vibrant enough. Um, I was really trying to decipher what bird this came from. It does have the iridescent, which I wish you guys can't actually see it on there. Uh, I'm going to give this a, maybe, let's see. Out in the sun, you can see it has this purple iridescent green shimmer, black, blue. Uh, uh, sorry, this one just made me so excited, okay? All right, so for the Leos who are drawn into uh, number one for their birthday messages, ooh, the black and white. See, the black and white to me would be more like the magpie. And I I was asking other people, and there was kind of like Libra Sagittarius pulled in with that, but um, Sagittarius seemed to think it was a magpie feather. Whereas I think because of its size, it's definitely, it, it could be a big crow. Trying to tell the difference between raven and crow um, that is a different. Whoa, okay. I'm going to stop. We've got a black one. The blackbird, the magical and unique qualities of your untapped potential are unfolding now. Okay. So regardless, it's a blackbird. Hmm. They're called like the cordiv. Cordiv? I can't pronounce it. Probably something like that. All right. And as you notice, it's the sunflowers for this uh, for this Leo birthday season and for all of the monthly for August. I'm cho choosing the sunflowers. They follow the sun, right? Uh, sunflower seeds even. Okay, let's see. What are some messages from the Divine Feather for those Leos for their birthday? No way, magpie. Okay, maybe some of you think it's a magpie. Maybe that's coming through from a Sagittarius for you. Reevaluate your priorities. It is time to let go of what you no longer need. So when you understand, so magpie can represent sometimes um, an omen of somebody who collects shiny objects because they collect. And it's very blue, iridescent, black blue. Wow. So even having the white on there. There's another gray. Let's see. So letting go of things you no longer need, reevaluating even your priorities. And um, this one is there too. The dove. Wow. So it's a light gray with black and white. The dove. Feel and allow a deeper sense of peace to fill you now. This is a divine quality. The magpie and the dove. And then we've got another one. The condor. Okay, right. The California condor. This is also, you know, similar to the vulture, but the condor is very different. Hold the highest vision for your life. You now possess the ability to move past any hurdles. Wow. The condor. Magpie. Wow. Hey, Maggie. <laughs> I see a parrot and a crow. Okay, so we do have the parrot and the crow. Universal laws and truths are now being revealed. Use this energy to create your reality. And the parrot, let go of other thoughts and opinions. It's time to embrace who you really are. This is, the parrot repeats everything, right? Oftentimes the parrot represents somebody who is gossiping or they just repeat everything that they've heard. It's someone else's opinion, someone else's thoughts about them, about life, about the world. The blue parrot. And the crow, wow. And I did bring up even the show, The Crow, right? Uh, and the song, Machines of Loving Grace. And I am the chosen one. Um, okay. All right, let's get just a few more messages and then I'm gonna move on to the next message. Um, Choice number two of unboxing the art oracle, as well as moments of gratitude for your, your birthday celebration, okay? Let's get just a couple more messages for the Leos for their birthday with the divine feathers. Wow, do you see the osprey? So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna set those off to the side. Let's see the feather, the osprey, wow. Your success is now at hand. Allow the abundance to flow to you effortlessly. The ability to move past any hurdle, the osprey. 
this is great. I'm really excited. Um, and I, I do want to bring up, so uh, maybe there's Virgo in your chart or I'm bringing up Virgo with this a little bit just because I feel very guided. Well, even Libra, but I feel very guided to bring in the bird uh, oracle for their birthday messages. Um, yeah. Anyways, well, I do want to see what this one is too because these are new, so it's exciting. The Raven. Okay, beautiful. We're getting all of them in play. Magpie, Crow, and Raven came through. The universe is calling you to notice important synchronicities. Raven. The important synchronicities. Huh. I'm, I'm like, what? That one's not as fat. Hmm. Different. I don't know how how real these like feathers are but the other song was actually the police and it was synchronicities number two two synchronicities okay um that song okay there was also <sighs> it's by melvina reynolds and it's called little boxes da -da -da -da. Little boxes, man, a ticky back. Anyway, so this band called the Decemberists uh, cover it. Um, and it's a further thing. And then you may have heard this song before on like the, I think it's HBO series Weeds. Or even about Weed, California, that place. I feel like there's a lot of California. I don't know why. A lot of California calling. The gym, the junior activity gym. Interesting. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, these are fairly quick messages. Wow, real quick. And um, you're welcome to just jump to the uh, description box and go to the next one and listen to your next message from the Art Oracles and Moments of Gratitude where there was also your little tyke's uh, wagon, okay? All right, Leos, happy, happy birthday once again, and let's move on. Bye-bye.